Hello friends, welcome to Chella's Cartooner. So in current life, we can see rubbers are being used in various applications from domestic to industry. So, so today's topic we will be talking about rubber as an introduction from the engineering point of view. So topics covered in this video is rubber, what is rubber and types of rubber and advantages and disadvantages of rubber. So let us go into the topic. Rubber is, is an elastic polymer, <coughs> elastomer. So let us understand it. So what is elastomer? And small molecule is called monomer and multiple monomers are connected with each other through a chain formation. So it becomes a polymer. So it, but rubber is a polymer, but it is having a pro primary property to stretch and string. So due to this property of easily to stretch and string, it is called elastic polymer that is elastomer. So basically it is derived from certain plants or derived from petroleum or natural gas. And it is having a large chain like a molecules in the linear direction and it can be easily stretchable and recover its original shape. So through vulganization process, 3 to 5 percentage of sulfur is added. So rubber gets stronger. So it can be processed for multiple applications. Next is types of rubber. So there are two types. One is natural rubber. Natural polymers are extracted from tree and it's having linear link chain and properties are difficult to change and examples are natural rubber. So you can see the processes in the below images. So it is taping the latex, it is extracted from the tree and further it is going through a coagulation process where it is getting solidified that's further processed and converted into sheets by vulcanization process. This is the basic raw material for uh, rubber manufacturing of further processes. So second category is synthetic rubber. Synthetic rubber is a artificially chemical processed rubber and it is produced through condensation polymerization. It is having again the linear link chain. So uniqueness of this particular rubber is the properties can be adjusted based on the applications. So examples are EPDM, neoprene, silicon rubber. So naphtha is the basic material for the rubber production that is derived from the crude oil and it further goes through a polymerization chemical process there it is being processed and further raw material of elastomer it is coming out of the polymerization process. This is the basic raw material for further productions of rubber products. So next we go to the advantages and disadvantages of the rubber. In advantages, it is having high elasticity, high durability and good electric insulations and oil and chemical resistance is good and good UV resistance. And basically not natural rubbers are having less UV resistance but synthetic rubbers are having good UV resistance. And coming to disadvantages, it's biodegradable. Everybody knows rubber is having self life. Beyond self life, its property gets degrade. So second disadvantage is poor flammability properties and it cannot be used in rigid parts and it's toxic in nature. So based on this wide advantages, it is being used in various areas from domestic to industrial applications, even medical applications. You can see the images below. So the day to day life products, tires in the automobile, gloves, tubes, pipes and cushions, bellows, o-rings, ceilings. So all across the field, a rubber is being used widely. So, friends, hope you got basic clarity about the rubber in this video. Please like and share our video and subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you.